the term reversible cerebral atrophy is not suitable for describing brain shrinkage demonstrated by CT scanning because atrophy implies cellular loss and irreversibility. Many published reports describe reversible cerebral atrophy in a number of conditions including anorexia nervosa, Cushing's syndrome, patients receiving adrenocorticotropic hormone or corticosteroids, and in alcoholics following recent abstention. Therefore, the term cerebral atrophy should not be used for describing brain shrinkage demonstrated by CT scan because of the pathologic implications of cellular loss and irreversibility. The reversible CT scan picture, misnamed cerebral atrophy in most case reports, probably can be explained by changes in water and electrolyte content of the brain. Here are the sum causes of reversible shrinkage of brain like alcoholism, chemotherapy, dehydration and shock, marijuana, radiation therapy, starvation anorexia, steroid use, but alcoholism usually shows limited reversibility. There is a spectrum of normal brain parenchymal volume for any age, and therefore, until you have a good sense of what the normal brain looks like at all ages, be hesitant to label a brain atrophic. It is preferable to use the terms age-related changes or parenchymal volume appropriate for age when the findings are within your range of normal. On the other hand, one might say parenchymal volume loss greater than expected for age in those cases where you want to raise the issue to a level of concern. Thank you for watching the video. Please click down to the subscribe button if you like the video.